How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC and how to use it with some of your favourite gaming platforms, Epic Games, Steam, Origin and GOG. So method number one to connect your PS5 controller to your PC is the wired method. So with the cable that came with your PS5 controller, it's a USB-C to USB cable but it's also a data cable, this is why it works. So plug it in and then your PC will start setting up your controller and it goes solid and it's ready to use. So method number two is the wireless method. On your PC, go to settings, devices, and make sure you've turned on your Bluetooth. And then go to add Bluetooth or other devices and select Bluetooth. Then it will start searching for Bluetooth devices. Go to our PS5 controller, hold the PS button and the share button, press and hold it down until it starts flashing like this. This means it's in pairing mode. Go back to our desktop and it should appear as wireless controller. Click on that and it starts setting up our controller to work with the PC. Press done. And once it's ready, our controller will go solid blue. My one goes green. I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. So with Epic Games, it really is just plug and play. Use the wired method, connect your controller, let it set up and you'll be able to play games like Rocket League, Fortnite and all other good games. But it doesn't seem to work with the wireless method. So to use the PS5 controller of Steam, it's really useful. You can use it with Steam games and on Steam games. Head to the top right corner to the expand button, which takes us to big picture mode. Here we can set up the controller. Go to the cog icon, which takes us to the settings and then go to controller settings and then make sure PlayStation configuration support is checked. Make sure you've also got the updated version of Steam because then you can, it will detect the PS5 controller. If you click identify, it will vibrate the controller and here you can personalize your controller. I made mine green, which is why my controller was going green in the earlier video. And then once you're happy, press submit and now you can control the Steam menus with your controller. So we can go back. If we click circle, back, go to down to the library and then just click on the game and start playing. So let's try it out with Rise of the Tomb Raider. So you'll notice that the command prompts that show up on the screen are Xbox style controls. Well, we can't do anything to change that, but the PS5 control buttons will match whatever the Xbox buttons are. So like X is like A on the Xbox controller to jump. So with Origin Games, if your PS5 controller doesn't work with it, we're going to use Steam and add it as a non-Steam game. Go to the bottom corner, press add game, add non-Steam game. And then we've got browse through the files to find our game. So browse. And so we're looking for the application of Alice Madness Returns. So to find that, I went to local disk, program files, x86, went down to origin games, and then there's Alice Madness Returns. And then I looked through the folder looking for the application. And for some reason, it was in binaries, Windows 32. And then there's the application. So I clicked on that. And then add selected program. And it's now added to Steam. So you can do this with not any other games as well, which are not Steam. And then we went into big picture mode. Here we're going to do the configurations for the controls. So go to library and then we're going to find the games. So I've only got four games installed because I had to reset my whole computer. And then we go to manage shortcut, controller configurations. I like to go browse configs because most people already set up configurations for controls. And this one looks good. So I pressed apply configuration, done. And I went to controller options and then make sure that global settings is on and that PS is showing on there. That means PlayStation support. And then we can go back and play the game. So within the game, all the controls are working. Here's my pepper grinder gun, taking out some of these robot things, picking up some loose teeth and slicing some robots with a knife. So if your PS5 controller is still not working, we've got plan B, don't worry. It's to download DS4 Windows version 2.117. This one has PlayStation support. I'll put a link in the descriptions. Once you've downloaded it, we want to extract it to our computer. So make sure you know which folder it is. Once you've extracted it, go inside DS4 Windows. And then we're going to go to the application, which is the one with the pink and blue logo. And it will open up its software. 
So if it doesn't detect the controller you've connected wired or wirelessly, press the stop button at the bottom and press start again so it searched for it. And here it is, you can see it's found DualSense and the ID number of the controller over here. And at the end, there is the color which you can change to custom and we've got to go with green of course, that's my favorite color. So the game I use this for is Cyberpunk 2077 because I couldn't get it to work as a non-Steam game with the controller for some reason. And the only way I could get it to work was DS4 Windows, so that is awesome. And here you can see it working with DS4 Windows. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more of my other videos to help support my channel. I'm Simon from LOG, Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out. Here you can see a little glitch. There's a man sitting in the middle of the road for no reason.